Hello everybody, Margarita here. Welcome to the Passion Purpose Profit Power Class. I am super excited that you are here. This is going to be a massively intense couple of hours. Um, if you have been on one of my classes before, then you know what I'm talking about. If you have not been on one of my classes before, then uh, you're in for an experience. Let me just say you are in for an experience. So um, I do hope that you have a pen and a piece of paper. I um, I have promised to deliver a lot in this power class and I intend to over deliver. I intend to give you as much as I possibly can to help you to bridge the gap between where you are to where you want to be. So that means that no matter where you're at in your journey right now, it is my intention to give you actionable steps, actionable content, information that will help you to create transformation in as you move forward in your journey and your quest to wealth and success. So make sure that you take whatever really resonates with you. It's important that you take what you need right now to help you to bridge the gap from where you are to where you want to be. So without further ado, let me start by sharing my screen. There we go. Hopefully now you can all see my screen. And um, this is about building wealth while fulfilling your soul mission and making a dent in the multiverse. So it's you are a multi-dimensional being. We are living in a multiverse world. Um, or we're living in a multiverse, which means there are multiple dimensions, there are multiple existences, there are multiple realities unfolding all at once. It's all really very complex. And within the multiverse, we get to create what we experience in this experiential life that we're in. So this is where spirituality um, and the uh, quantum science meets the uh, the, the principles, the basic principles of building wealth and success, because you kind of, you need to marry all of it together in order to be successful and to build the wealth that you truly desire. So what if you could build wealth while fulfilling your soul mission and make a dent in the multiverse? What if you could actually do that? What would that look like for you? If you suspend disbelief for just a moment, because this is um, this is a, a concept or an idea that a lot of people actually haven't really toyed with, not deeply, not seriously. And that's why during this presentation, which is going to be uh, about two hours, so I do not muck around, um, it's called a power class for a reason, and I have condensed around about a two hour a two day workshop into a two hour power class. So I I have often been criticized for putting way too much into my presentations and over the years I have tried to stop doing that. I over teach and you know and I at one point I just went, you know what? I'm not going to change. How about I just turn my floor into a feature and I just deliver as much as I possibly can for you and you just take whatever you need because it is always my intention to give you what you need to make the progress that you can make. So if you entertain this question, it's quite a loaded question, what does that look like for you? So my mission, I have a dream to empower 100,000 impact-driven entrepreneurs to build wealth while fulfilling their sole mission and making a difference. Why? Because I know together we can change the world. There's a lot that's not going right for humanity right now. And it is my firm belief that as entrepreneurs, we have an opportunity and also partly a responsibility to play our part in bringing in um, a, a new uh, a new way of being for humanity. There was um, a... Um, a very successful entrepreneur that I spent some time with a few years ago. 
and he he's actually he came from brazil originally and he's quite he's crazy crazy af to be honest um but he used to say and this was like 10 years ago he used to say that he believed that it was would be the entrepreneur that would help change the world i was like eh, really like now i am totally on that train i honestly believe that the entrepreneurs on this in this world have the ability to change the world and that means that each and every entrepreneur who has a, um, a, a mission, a vision, who wants to make an impact, needs to be empowered to see that vision come to fruition. Because if you think about, if all the impact-driven, conscious entrepreneurs in the world, the ones who wanted to make a difference, the transformational leaders, if all of them were empowered financially, um, psychologically, meaning that they've got an unstoppable mindset, imagine, what we could do imagine how we could shape our world now that's a pretty big undertaking and not one that any one person can do on their own but what if we did it together imagine that it's kind of a utopian dream and yes it's a it's a big vision but that doesn't scare me that inspires me and that's what i want to help you to do today is to inspire you to the possibilities to the opportunities that are available to you to what's possible when you step into your true power so let's crack on the passion purpose and profit power class what i'm going to share with you today these this is just a small snapshot of what i'm going to go through today i'm going to share with you the answer to your all your money problems believe it or not <laughs> the five keys to making an extra hundred thousand dollars in a hundred days it's systematic there's structures that you put in place and it's not that hard when you get the right uh the right elements in the right place and you execute them in the right order so discover your soul mission what is your soul mission do you know what you're here to do do you feel like you are fully aligned and on the right path that you were born for in this life in this world again pretty big topic and i'm not saying that you're going to necessarily be able to have all of this nailed down within the next two hours that would be a pretty big call but i'm at least going to open the door for you on each of these um, on each of these topics so you know where to go from within the next two hours how to impact millions and build wealth fast there is a vehicle that is available it's um it's not a, a, a one particular opportunity i'm not doing that i don't do that but um there is one particular vehicle that has a broad spectrum of possibilities and opportunities that um it, it will actually help you and it's not a big secret but i'm going to show you how you can use it to impact millions and build wealth fast. How to heal your relationship with money. Again, big topic. Like I said, this could be, a, rather than a two day workshop, I think this could probably be a week long workshop. I could dive deep into each of these topics and we could cover um, all of those within a week. The keys to the universe, baby. So um, that's where we're going to, that's where we're going to land at the end of this presentation today and it's going to be a hell of a ride in the process so i'm just being told i've got network issues so if i start dropping out i do apologize oh and for those who are watching the replay if there is um if the audio isn't syncing with the video i do apologize i'm actually working with webex on that i've noticed that sometimes the audio and the video don't quite match up um which is a little bit troubling but um if that happens then um, i'm actually working with webex to try and fix that so are you a conscious entrepreneur an impact driven entrepreneur or a spiritual entrepreneur if you are then you are in the right place if you are somebody who is a transformational leader who literally wants to be able to build wealth for themselves and simultaneously actually have a positive impact in the world then you are definitely in the right place and I firmly believe that the future belongs to this category of entrepreneur. And until a few months ago, I was actually very conflicted about 
um, specifically focusing on these entrepreneurs because I had this limiting belief in my brain that there's not a lot of conscious impact driven spiritual entrepreneurs out there and I could not have been more wrong when I started to research the um, the amount of transformational leaders and people who genuinely have a deep passion for making a difference in the world as entrepreneurs I have been absolutely blown away and very excited by the fact that there are so many people in the world who are on this journey of being able to um because as entrepreneurs we want to make a difference uh in in people's lives in some way shape or form we want to be of service so that really excites me now i clicked in the wrong place and you all disappeared on me there we go <laughs> that's better where was i um okay so the rise of the conscious entrepreneur um, as I explored this category of entrepreneur, I saw so many good people doing good things in the world and seeing how they have managed to harness their abilities, their passion, their focus on doing good things and turned it into a money-making venture that actually generates six, seven, even, you know, 10 figures that then impacts hundreds of thousands, millions of people is, is something that, um, is something that gives me great hope for our planet. Because as the conscious entrepreneur starts to be empowered and comes forward and, and solves the problems that we see in the world. So for instance, um, there is a an entrepreneur that I highly recommend you go and look up and his name is Manoj Bhagavar. So instead of actually trying to spell his name so you look it up, um, I, I, I think it's M-A-N-O-J-B-H-A-G-A-V, no. Anyway, go and have a look at Billions in Change, Manoj Bhagavar, Billions in Change. He is an incredible human being. So very, very quickly, his story is a decade or so ago, he created um, a drink called Five Hour Energy. Anyway, it went ballistic and uh, turned his company into a billion dollar company very, very quickly. And he's a very, very generous soul and he's got these billions of dollars and he's going, well, I don't need private jets. I don't need you know, all this other stuff that billionaires, billionaires seem to love. That's not who I am. He was brought up being very much um, focused on contribution, making a contribution. So he said, what am I going to do with all this money? So he decided to focus on three um, primary problems that he saw the world facing. One was sustainable food production, specifically in third world countries. Another one was sustainable energy, specifically in third world countries. And the third one was clean water, being able to um, make sure that we, that the world has, um, has access to clean drinking water. And again, he was focusing primarily on third world countries. So he took his money, his billions, he built an engineer's playground. He invited other um, engineers and inventors to bring solutions to him in relation to these three uh, categories of problems in the world. And their ideas had to be simple and, potential, and have the potential to actually solve the problem. So, and then if it had merit, if their ideas had merit, then he literally put them in the engineer's playground and said, what do you need? I will provide it for you to help them develop their ideas. Like, who does that? This dude does. So it was a zero profit venture. Um, it is a zero profit venture. And um, he, and he's, um, he's just an incredible human being. Like, there's one incredibly inspiring conscious entrepreneur, conscious billionaire. So um, I would highly recommend that you look him up and you have a look at his story because it's very inspiring. And not many people have heard of him. Like everybody's heard of Elon Musk. But 
very few people have heard of Manoj Bhagava. I don't even know how I found him, but he's like my poster child. <laughs> he's like the dude who's on my wall. Um, well, he's not really, but um, he's like uh, my pinup boy as far as entrepreneurs are concerned. So I think this is our time. This really is our time. And as we are empowered financially and with more and more resources, we get to make a greater impact in the world. Are you ready to live your best life? So whilst we talk about being able to impact others, it's also important that you get to have fun and enjoy your best life. So are you ready to live your best life? If you're ready to live your best life, what does that look like? The first step in achieving any goal, any vision, any dream is to get absolute clarity on what that looks like. So the first thing I'm going to get you to do today, I'm going to put you to work today. Believe me, I barely draw breath when I do these classes because I know that I have two hours to give you just bucket loads. So, um, but I will pause for a few seconds. You will get a little bit of a rest from my voice as you write down what is your vision for your best life. Suspend disbelief, dare to dream huge, and write down what it is that you really want to create. Okay, what I'm going to encourage you to do is we have a lot to cover today. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is expand on that vision. After this presentation today, I'm going to give you homework. I want you to expand on that vision and really think about what it is that you really want to create for your life, for your future. What is living your best life look like? So. What if you could make an extra $100,000 in the next 100 days in your business working smarter, not harder? Now, whilst for some people this is going to be like 100 grand in the 100 days, that's a cinch. Okay, if that's a cinch for you, what about half a million in the next 100 days? Just increase it. For some people that's going to like, what, 100K in 100 days? The answer to this is just systems, structures, mindset. And what I will share with you during this presentation is what you need in place to be able to achieve something like that. And as I said, if, if 100 grand is easy for you, then go to the next level. Take it to something that stretches you, a stretch goal. And um, if I'm going to share this with you now, because I know two hours is a long time to have me in your world. And if you have to race off, then if you or potentially working with me and having me help you to achieve a goal like $100,000 in the next 100 days or whatever it is that you want to achieve in the next 100 days, then um, book a, you can book a strategy call with me there. These are free strategy calls. And this is if you are ready to invest in yourself, if you are ready to go all in. I am not here to sell you anything today. That is not what I'm, it's not my intention for today. But if you would like me to help you to actually implement what I share with you today, then you can book a free strategy call with me. Um, and I will share more about that with you at the end of the call. But in case you needed to leave for whatever reason, I just wanted to be upfront and let you know that that opportunity is available if you would like to discuss that. So um, in relation to achieving your goals and your vision and your dreams, there's a lot of dreaming going on out there, but not a lot of achieving 
happening behind that. And it's really important that whilst I encourage you to dare to dream huge, because I know that you are capable of achieving anything you put your mind to. Whatever you, whatever you um, conceive and believe you can achieve. I honestly believe that statement. It's important though that we have a reality check on where we're at right now. And what you need to be able to get from where you are to where you want to be. So dreaming is great. I, I highly encourage everybody to dream, to fantasize about your best life, about achieving more than you ever imagined possible and what that would look like. And then you need to come back to a reality to have a look at, okay, so this is where I'm at. This is where I want to get to. How the hell am I going to make that happen? What is the reality of what you need to put in place? Because there's such a thing called hopium and the vast majority of people out there are hoping that it's all going to work out for them. Well, you've got to put some action in, baby. You've got to actually prepare to, um, to hit, the, hit the ground running. You've got to be prepared to put in the work. So whilst I am, uh, whilst I encourage everybody to believe in themselves and believe in being able to achieve anything and everything, it's so important that you back that up with strategic action. So I'm going to be talking about that later in today's presentation as well. And here's something in relation to, specifically in relation to impact-driven entrepreneurs, the idealistic view versus the realistic view. So what I'm talking about here is that whilst impact-driven entrepreneurs are very, tend to be very idealistic, which is fantastic. We tend mostly to have a positive outlook on the world. We believe that we can change the world. Um, Steve Jobs paraphrasing, I can't remember the exact phrase, but it's Steve Jobs once said, um, it's the crazy ones who actually end up changing the world. And if you look at any visionary in the past, that they had crazy ideas and people in their world who told them, dude, that's not even possible. And they went, really, let me show you how, how it's done. So it's great that you're idealistic. It's great that you have a big vision. And the thing with impact driven entrepreneurs is that, um, so let's, Okay, let's break this down into two different categories of entrepreneurs for the sake of today's presentation. You have income-driven entrepreneurs, you have impact-driven entrepreneurs. So income-driven entrepreneurs, what are they driven by? Well, they're driven by money. Now, whilst they are still serving people, because every single entrepreneur in order to become wealthy has to be focused on service in some way, shape, or form, their primary, their primary concern is where is the best opportunity to make the most money and how do they capitalize on that opportunity right whereas the impact driven entrepreneur the idealistic entrepreneur is focused primarily on making an impact and here's where most impact driven entrepreneurs go, go wrong they kind of make the income part so secondary that it pales into insignificance they're so focused on the impact that they forget the real the reality of actually implementing the money piece and they are both incredibly important because without the money piece you don't get to transform hundreds thousands hundreds of thousands of people's lives without the money piece you need the resources so you cannot even if impact is your primary concern you cannot neglect the income piece it needs to be just as important as the impact piece and they work beautifully together it is a different approach to business it has not been um, it has not been a dominant approach to business in our world duh 
I mean, we can see that by the crap that we've got happening in the world right now. Most businesses to this point are focused on capital. They're focused on income. They're focused on just how much money they can make and they don't care about the impact that they're going to have. An impact-driven entrepreneur has three primary focuses that they're looking at. And it's people and then planet and then profit. All of them are important, but their primary concern is people, the people who are involved, and the people who get to benefit from their business venture, their entrepreneurial venture. The second one is planet, and the third one is profit. Now, that does not mean that profit ends up being neglected. It just means that impact-driven entrepreneurs do not prioritize profit over people or planet. They prioritize people, planet, and then profit. But they must all work together. So very, very quickly, I'm not going to dive um, too much into this, but um, if you're in my community, you're probably well aware of where I stand on the truth movement right now. And this is a controversial position, I know, but I am loud and proud that um, we have been fed a bunch of lies for way too long. And these lines, lies have been very, very detrimental to humanity. And the truth is now coming out in, it, it's coming out like a bit of a tsunami. And it's a bit overwhelming for some people. Um, but we need to look at the systems and how we got where we are today. The truth is that our financial system is not set up to, uh, to benefit us, basically to ben benefit the 99% of the people on the planet. It is set up to benefit 1% of the people on the planet or less, probably 0.1% of people on the planet who are truly benefiting from the financial system. Now that, that it's just the way that you play the game. So um, it's important that you know how to play the game of money to win because that's what the 0.1% are doing. Our, um, there are other systems, our education system. Y you know, I listened to, I was listening to something yesterday and there was a study done that I, I've got to find this again. I was only listening to it yesterday and I went, what? So there was a study done. They were, this company was doing studies to find geniuses. They wanted to be able to find geniuses. So they started with like five-year-old kids and they were doing these tests on them. Do you know that they found 98% of those children were geniuses? 98%. They weren't specific kids. They were just general kids. 98% of them were in the genius category. Now they tested them again, I don't know, when they were like 10 or, or 12 or something like that. It was down to something like 30%. I know. What the hell happened there? And then they tested them again as adults. So it was obviously a long-term um, uh, um, study that they did. And I've got to find it. But then they found it was like 3% of people ended up being geniuses. So something happened between five and adult that um, they, doesn't mean that they're actually not geniuses, but the system does not serve to empower people um, mentally and to actually continue that genius, um, that genius within each and every person. It quite, I found it quite shocking that 98% of children are in the genius category. That's incredible. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to change our education system, obviously. Um, so then we have um, a health system that is not necessarily set up to really help us to be as healthy as possible. So what do we do about that? Well, I believe that there is a massive opportunity right now to build parallel systems that are actually built to serve the needs of the collective, to serve the needs of humanity. Unlike the systems that are really set up to, uh, to take advantage of us. They're, they're there to exploit us. I believe the current systems on the planet are set up specifically to exploit us. 
So, and this is where I think we can have a massive impact by, you know, there, there's only a small percentage of people in the world who will agree with me on this. But we only need a small percentage of people in the world to help to change the world. One person with a powerful idea can help change the world. You've got Elon Musk, who's out there changing the world. Um, and you've got uh, Steve Jobs with his creations, change the world. Henry Ford built the motor, built the, built the car, changed the world, changed the way we operate in the world. Henry Marconi, who um, built the radio systems, changed the world. So it is possible for one person to change the world. But together, when we work together as a collective, man, we can achieve amazing things. So let's very, very quickly look at inconvenient truth about money. You are wired to fail with money. And that is not, that has been done deliberately by installing various belief systems within you through your environment, through what you're exposed to as a child, through the people who are wired to fail with money who were in your life. So you have blocks, you have limiting beliefs around money that actually set you up to fail. We have a lack of financial literacy education. This is easy to solve. All the answers are out there. It's just up to you to look for them. So I think I sent out um, an email to my community yesterday that spoke about um, uh, Mark Moss on YouTube about um, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Tony Robbins has a book out, and there are plenty of people out there who have written books that you can literally take a whole new approach to your financial future and educate yourself about finances and about how the money system works to change your results. Money is oxygen to your vision. So without money, it's highly unlikely that your vision will ever see the light of day. So it's a resource that is impossible to ignore in order to achieve your goals and dreams. This is the way our world works. Now you can love it or hate it. It doesn't matter. You need to embrace it. And money is not the problem. It's your beliefs about money that are the issue. And it is your story about money. So the answer to all your money problems is your wealth consciousness. That's it. I know. You're like, what? That's it? <laughs> You're probably already aware of this, but I want you to think about this on the deepest level. Because the vast majority of people project their problems as something that is outside of them. It's outside of their control. The good news is when you shift your wealth consciousness, you shift your results with wealth. When you have an abundance consciousness, you experience abundance in your life. So, this should be music to your ears. This should be an exciting idea for you to really entrench within your being right now. Because when you go all in to shift your mindset, to change your money mindset, to change your wealth consciousness, to uncover the root cause of any dysfunction that you have around money, you have the power to change your entire future around money. So one of the primary things that you must focus on is your wealth consciousness. This is probably, depending on where you're at right now, this is probably one of the most important things that you will do in your personal development. And if you're going into business and you do not have an abundance and wealth consciousness, then you must, 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 must Make it your mission to develop a wealth consciousness. Because you can have the best ideas in the world. You can have the best systems in the world. You can have the best business, um, the business background in the world. It doesn't matter. If you do not, if you have a poverty and lack consciousness, then you will achieve 
poverty and lack. You, you won't be able to achieve wealth and abundance, or if you do, you will find a way to sabotage it. I work with clients who have created a million dollar businesses and then disappeared overnight because something happened or they made a bad decision or, you know, it's they found a way to sabotage themselves. So, um, and when we work on the wealth conscious consciousness piece, when we look at the fears, the doubts, the limiting beliefs, the stories, the paradigms, the reasons behind their self-sabotage, all of a sudden the game changes dramatically. And this is within your power. So it's about your relationship with money. You must, must, must look at your relationship with money. And we're going to do, um, we're going to talk more about that in about an hour's time when I talk about how to heal your relationship with money. So stick around with that. So um, I've already gotten you to think about um, your vision. What does your best life look like? Are you ready to live your best life? And within your best life, I want you to now think about, expand that beyond your own best life and dare to dream about the possibilities, about who you could potentially impact, about um, the kind of change that you could potentially help others to achieve in their lives through your skills, through your expertise, regardless of whether you are um, going to be working on a product or a service, your, um, your product or service is going to positively impact your customers or clients in a certain way. Every single entrepreneur must have a solution to a problem. You've got to dial that in. Money is an exchange. Money is just an exchange of energy. That's all it is. Once you take all the BS, the, the mental BS around it, the psychological dysfunction around money and how we engage with money, our financial system is just a means of exchange. That's it. So in your lifetime, what kind of impact do you want to have? Because when it comes down to it, it's not the money that is going to fulfill your soul. It is the impact that you have. And you have the ability to have a massive impact. So dare to dream huge. We kind of get this whipped out of us because of um, the way society is set up because of the way we are conditioned into, you know, get a good education, get a job, um, get a good job, get a mortgage, um, you know, get the stuff, have the kids, and then get the hell out. <laughs> sort of live life as best you can and get out of here. Um, we stop dreaming. At some point, we give up on our dreams. I want to ignite a fire back under your dreams right now. And I want you to dare to dream huge. Now, this is the next piece of the puzzle. This is where you're going to do a little bit more work. In order to overcome, I'm not going to paint a pretty picture about this journey. If you're undertaking an entrepreneurial journey, I'm not about to gaslight you and tell you that it's all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns. It's a tough journey, the entrepreneurial journey. You're going to be challenged. You're going to experience failure. You're going to experience setbacks, challenges. You're going to be pushed into, um, into out, way outside of your comfort zone if you really want to achieve your dreams. So underlying your goals, your dreams, what it is that you want to achieve, you must have a compelling why? What is your why? Now, I know I've already got you to focus on living your best life and what that looks like, and that's great. Your compelling why is something that needs to be bigger than you, bigger than whatever your ideal life looks like, your best life looks like for you. 
it needs to be some sort of a cause. So things like what breaks your heart, I'm going to go into this a little bit more when I go into discovering your soul mission. But things like what breaks your heart, what what injustices do you see in the world that makes you sad or angry or what do you feel passionate about? Because that is a big part of your why. But if you do not have a compelling why, then overcoming the challenges, the failures, the setbacks, it's going to be really, really tricky, really hard. You have to have something to latch on to that in the times where you just want to chuck it all in and walk away because there's going to be those times, you can latch on to your compelling why and go, no, this is worth it. I'm going to work through it. I'm going, I am relentless. I'm going to do this no matter what. So take a moment and think about what is your compelling why. What is it that really lights a fire in your heart and in your soul? And for the vast majority of people on the planet, money is not a very big motivational factor. Believe it or not. You might think, how can money not be a motivational factor? It's really not. It's what you do with the money. The money's actually not irrelevant. It's what, sorry, the money's not relevant. It's irrelevant. It is what you do with the money that counts. So take a moment to think about what is your compelling why. You don't have to figure this out today. But I want to start opening these doors for you. I want to start real, I want to inspire you to start exploring these concepts. Because you're going to need them. These are the foundations of you being having a six-figure business, a seven-figure business, becoming a billionaire if that's what you want. And you're entirely capable. If you want to be a billionaire, you are absolutely capable. I know you are. So let's talk a little bit about wealth and what wealth really is to you what does wealth mean to you specifically because wealth is not just about having millions of dollars in the bank wealth goes way beyond that financial wealth is a part of it but it's just one piece of true wealth there are many wealthy people in the world who are i feel unfulfilled they feel like they've spent all this time and made all this sacrifice climbing a ladder only to get to the top and find out that they've they're at the top of the wrong wall they've climbed the wrong ladder because they are unfulfilled they're like is this it i've got all the stuff i was i was sold this thing that when i'm really successful i've got all the stuff that i'm going to be happy i'm not happy why am i not happy but if you're sacrificing your health along the way if you're sacrificing your spiritual well-being along the way, if you're sacrificing your connection to family along the way, that's not true wealth. That's a price that I would never be willing to pay. So true wealth to me is in your relationships. It's in your finances as well, but it's in your relationships. It's in your health, your physical and mental well-being and emotional well-being. It's in your spirituality. It's in the fulfillment of what you do. It's in your career. It's in your wisdom. It's in how you apply it. It's in how you structure your day. It's addressing the things that are most important to you and experiencing the fulfillment and satisfaction of a life well lived. Excuse me for just a moment. I'm just trying to find my mute button. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Sorry about that. As I said, I'm still figuring out this WebEx platform. So what is true wealth to you? And I want you, again, this is an invitation for you to start exploring these concepts on a much deeper level than you ever have before. If I had a week with you, I would spend a good 45 minutes to an hour on this subject, but I just have two hours. 
So what is true wealth for you? Now, as far as money is concerned, we put so much importance on money. Well, what does money really mean? Like I said, having money, it's in and of itself, money's actually worthless. In 1973, I think it was, that Nixon actually took um, made the turned the financial system into a fiat currency, so took away the uh, the gold standard. So money only has the value that we actually put in it. It is a it is a mental construct, which is a bit scary. So the more money they print, the more they devalue the the actual currency itself. So. It, it, the only value money has is the uh, is the psychological value that we put on it. That's it. And the way the system is constructed, um, it actually has very little, if it, it, no real value. There is no real value to our currency at all. So if you look at it from the perspective that money is um, it's an energy. It's a philosophy. It's a concept. Where is the real value in having money in our current system? Money gives you choice. It allows you to make better choices. So when you have money, if you want to go on holiday, you can go on a much nicer holiday. You can go first class if you want. You can stay in the best hotels if you want. Instead of going for a few days, you can go for a month. You can go to the best places. You can go to the nice restaurants if that's what you want to do. If you don't have money, then you're very limited in your choices for all of those things. You can choose to buy a better car. You can choose to have a nicer home. You can choose to take time out when you want. Money means the ability to make better choices. It means being able to buy better health products, look after your health better, go to a, a, a health spa, be able to have massages whenever you want to have them, take the best health products. You can bypass and get the best medical care if you need medical care. As much as I'm a bit scathing about our medical system in many aspects, it has a place. And if you have a health challenge and you need the medical system to help you with that health challenge, then that can be extremely expensive. We're very fortunate here in Australia, we have a free healthcare system to a point. But if you have a major health challenge, then there are certain services that are not gonna be available to you unless you have the means, the financial means to access it. Money opens doors. Money brings opportunity. Money gives you access. Money gives you greater access to people who can, um, people who you can work with to achieve great results. Money is an incredibly powerful tool when you know how to use it. So change your concept around money and what it means because you're gonna need it so i love this picture so much i want you to look into this girl's eyes because i want you to realize and really embody what i'm about to say put your Pens and paper down for now. Because this could be a changing moment for you. When you realize that you are the hero that you've been waiting for. That you have everything you need within you to achieve anything your heart desires. You have the ability. You may not have the knowledge or the skills yet, the know-how, the expertise. 
that you have the seeds of everything already inside of you to achieve more than you ever imagined possible. And you are infinitely powerful. You are bigger than any challenge that you will ever face. When you start to understand and embody everything that I just said, it will totally transform your world. So I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. And I want you to do something for me. I want you to put your hands on your heart and I want you to repeat after me. I am infinitely powerful. I am infinitely powerful. Say it like you mean it and say it like you believe it. I am infinitely powerful. I am infinitely powerful. Close your eyes. Feel that resonate in every cell of your body. Feel it. Let it land. Allow it to integrate. Breathe into it. I am infinitely powerful. Know it, live it, be it. That's the seed of your power. That's the seed of your success. That's the seed of your wealth. That's the seed of everything you will ever achieve is that belief. Once you embody and embrace that, and I'm not saying that you're going to do it right here, right now, but can you feel the power of that, that idea? that knowledge within you because when you reconnect with this because when you came here you knew who you were you understood your true power you were born a freaking genius man <laughs> you knew you were infinitely powerful you knew you were an extension of source you knew you that you could achieve anything you knew that you were a being of abundance that you are an abundant being born in an abundant universe you knew all of that but being human is not an easy gig dude it's tough and through the conditioning and the lies that you were told and sold you started to lose that belief, to lose that knowing, to lose that understanding. But when this becomes something that you start to build within yourself again, doesn't happen overnight, but you know this at the deepest level within your psychology, within your consciousness, you know this. This is not new information to you. You're an amazing being. Can you feel that? I don't know why I want to cry right now, but you are so incredible. And I want you to understand that so much because you are so capable. You are so amazing. You are so brilliant. That spirit. This is 
spirit because spirit loves you so much and spirit wants you to get this so much this is spirit my entire senses are overloaded right now because spirit is here with you wanting you to get this on the deepest level of just a bit overwhelmed the english language cannot express this effectively enough but it needs to land this is the only thing you take away from today then man this can change your life okay so let's move on before i end up in a pool of tears <laughs> I'm passionate about this stuff, man. So please don't be offended if I use the word man. It's just, you know, <laughs> anyway, because I know it's, it's pretty much predominantly ladies on my presentations, but yeah, I think you get it. So right now, pens and papers, what do you need to be wealthy and successful? Let me just take a breath and a sip of water. What do you need to be wealthy and successful? Right. You need the self-belief, confidence, and self-worth. This is a journey. This is something that um, you that that will evolve with you. But you need to build your self-belief, your self-confidence, and your self-worth. Confidence in your ability. Confidence in knowing that you will be able to achieve whatever it is that you put your mind to confidence that you will be able to overcome any challenge and the self-worth to know that you deserve it that you are good enough that you are worthy and the belief in yourself so this in and of itself as you build this over time and this is built through doing the personal development work doing the eft tapping that um that i'm so passionate about clearing out the limiting beliefs the fears the doubts the blocks the stories all the bs the belief systems the negative belief systems um and then as you progress on your journey as you take more action as you learn more as you develop your skills you will build more confidence you will as you achieve the the simple steps along the way or even the things that don't seem so simple because you're going to have to stretch yourself out of your comfort zone. And as you stretch yourself out of your comfort zone and you feel the overwhelm and you go all in and you do it anyway and you take the action to achieve the result and you get to the end of the day or the week or the month or the year and you go, oh my God, that was intense and I, I really pushed myself and I stretched myself and I did things and I achieved things that I never thought I could achieve. You build your confidence. You go, oh my gosh, if I can do that, wow, what else can I do? So this is a journey. You need a your unique wealth formula, particularly for conscious impact-driven entrepreneurs, transformational leaders, people who want to make a difference. You have a unique wealth formula. And this comes down to what are your core values? What is your unconscious competence? They're your superpowers, the things that you play at that other people have to work at, your core genius, your gifts, your talents, they're your superpowers. What is it that you came here to do? Who are you here to impact? What legacy are you here to leave? All of this makes up your unique wealth formula. And it's something that once you unpack it, it's a game changer. And this is what I help people to do is I help them to unpack their unique wealth formula and then actually make it work for them to, to be able to build wealth. So it's the vision, it's the vehicle, it's the system, it's the structure, it's the strategy, it's the support that you have in place to help you to get from where you are to where you want to be. 
this is big picture i'm helping you to map the universe right now so if you're feeling overwhelmed i get it there's a lot to digest here but all you need to do is take the next logical step that's it that's it this will evolve along the way i'm taking a forty thousand foot view with you right now so the vision the vehicle the system the structure the strategy and the support that you have in place you need to have a plan if you are failing to plan you are planning to fail you must have a plan and it doesn't need to be some elaborate thousand page report but you need a plan of action to get from where you are to where you want to be you need the right mindset and beliefs and they again will develop and evolve over time it's not something that you just just happens for you overnight this this personal development work let me tell you you never get it all done you will always be a work in progress you will always have new sets of beliefs think is i i love to use elon musk because everybody knows who the hell he is and he's like this this just <laughs> like an enigma as far as the world is concerned he is an enigma like how many people build one billion dollar company let alone build or acquire multiple billion dollar companies. Like who does that? Elon Musk, that's who. Um, so uh, he started out as a geek. I love telling his story because it is like a rags to riches story. Um, and he didn't start out from a wealthy family or with some exceptional advantage, except he was obviously brought up in an environment that encouraged him to believe in himself and to go for his dreams which most of us have that knocked out of us. We're not encouraged to do that at all. And then it's, it's a pretty big journey to be able to overcome a lot of those, that conditioning, but that's, that's irrelevant for this story. So Elon Musk, when he started with um, PayPal, started PayPal, he started it with another geek and they didn't have the money to have um, a place to live and an office so they rented an office where they were going to build paypal and they just lived there they slept there and everything um and they would put the uh, payment transaction platform up during the day for people to use and then elon musk would code all night long in order to develop the platform and put it back up in the next day now, if you think about that, that's in the 90s, right? Fast forward just 30 years. Like it's only 30 years. It's not a lot of time in the scheme of things. This dude now owns Tesla, you know, building electric vehicles, multi-billion dollar company, SpaceX, another multi-billion dollar company, sending rockets to out into space and sending satellites he wants 42,000 satellites in orbit in the next 10 years personally that just makes me cringe because i love to sit out we live out in the country and my husband and i love to sit out the back at night and look at the stars and also count elon musk satellites because let me tell you there's a few of them out there now and you can tell which ones they are because he, his satellites are actually um, in the closest orbit to Earth. So they're very, very bright. Um, and I'm thinking 42,000. Mate, I won't be able to see the stars if you have 42,000 freaking satellites in, in orbit. Like, dude, how many satellites do you really need? Anyway, um, so SpaceX. He now owns Twitter or he's rebranded it to X. He has Neuralink. Not sure about that, putting chips in people's brains. Dude, what is he up to? Um, and what else has he got? Oh, I'm sure he's got another company that I've missed. Um, but he wants X to be the everything company, the everything app. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's got a fifth one and I can't think of what it is. But like this guy from where he started to where he is in 30 years, imagine how much he has evolved over that time from the geek who was coding to build paypal initially to a guy who now runs um owns all these 
companies in all these different industries. He's just across multiple industries. Like, what the hell? Do you think he's a different person now than he was back then is what I'm trying to say. It's a long way to say, how much do you think he has evolved from there to there? How much do you think he knows now than he didn't know back then? What's his mindset like now from what it was 30 years ago? What beliefs does he have now that he didn't have 30 years ago? What beliefs has he, what limiting beliefs has he released to get from where he is to where he wants to be? You see how anything is possible? If Elon Musk can do it, I don't think he's an alien from another planet. I don't know, he might be, but I don't think he is. I think he's a regular human being, which means if he can do it, you can do it. You just need the right mindset, the right beliefs, the right structure, the right strategies. And it's up to you to create that for yourself. And you need the right environment. So environment is crucial. Environment must support you mentally, emotionally, um, and physically. So mental is your physical environment. It's the environment that you live and work and play in. Um, it's your people environment. It's your mindset environment. So what are you consuming? You're here today. That's a good thing. That's a good part of your environment. I might be a little bit biased, but I think you're in the right place. Um, who are you listening to? What are you reading? Uh, you know, the vast majority of the population, what are they doing right now? What sort of things are they reading? What sort of TV are they watching? Are they consuming information and things that expand their skill sets, their mindset, their information, their knowledge? Or are they watching reality TV? You know the answer. And that's why most people never achieve anything great. So make sure that you optimize your environment to be expanding in the quickest and best way possible and evolving and becoming the most, the best version of you. All comes down to your environment. So I've already mentioned this, Napoleon Hill, whatever you can conceive and believe you can achieve. I think that I said that with somebody else, but Napoleon Hill, whatever you conceive, can conceive, and believe you can achieve. The belief part is the crucial part of that sentence. It's building the belief in yourself that it's possible. It's building the belief in yourself that it's possible for you. It's making the impossible possible and believing that you can make the impossible possible. Once you believe it, it's already done. Once you fully believe that it's happening, that it's happened, that you're capable of it, it's already a fair complete. And it's building that belief that will help you to go to the stars, go to the moon, whatever it is that you want. So let's look at what is your soul mission. Now, I know that we've already been here an hour and almost 15 minutes, and I still have a lot to cover. So what is your soul mission? How do you figure out what your soul mission is? So what are you passionate about? What really sets your heart on fire, lights you up, makes you feel really good inside? What are you passionate about? What are the, what are the subjects that when you start talking about it, it's just like you just can't stop? I think you've probably picked up on the fact that I am passionate about inspiring people, about personal development, about teaching. I love to teach. I love to empower people. What breaks your heart? What situations do you see in the world that breaks your heart, that makes you angry or sad? What injustices do you see that just like, this is wrong, something has to be done about this? What breaks your heart? 
what breaks my heart is the fact that we have systems in our world that have disempowered people and we are born geniuses and we end up this dumbed down population who is enslaved by a system that is deliberately created to do that. That breaks my heart. That makes me so angry. Gets me so upset. It's why I do what I do. It's why I love what I do. What do you stand for? What is it that you stand for? What feeds your soul? What activities or subjects or people? What really feeds your soul? When do you feel the most fulfilled, the most satisfied, the most tuned in, tapped in and turned on? What problem are you uniquely equipped to solve? So this comes back partly to your superpowers, what I said before, your gifts, your talents, your knowledge, your expertise, your journey. Because there's only one of you. It's only one of you. You are that unique. There is only one person who has your body of knowledge, who has your experience of the world, who has your collection of skills, of expertise, who has your view of the world. There is nobody else like you. Never has been. In the history of the world, there has never been anybody like you. There is nobody like you alive today. There will never be anybody like you alive in the world ever, in the, in the multiverse ever, nobody. And you will be a different person tomorrow than you are today. And you are a different person today than you were yesterday. Because you are constantly evolving. So what problem are you uniquely equipped to solve? Means who are you? And then how do you monetize that? How do you package that up? That's a really big question. So I've already mentioned what are your superpowers? And then what is your unique wealth formula? So how do you take all of that and then put it into a structure, into a vehicle that allows you to build wealth with zero limits on your income? How do you build that foundation that you can scale and grow so you can actually build wealth just being you, just being the glorious being that you are? That's your unique wealth formula. That's what I am passionate about helping entrepreneurs to achieve. So how do you make success inevitable? Number one, you make your goals, your vision, your dreams non-negotiable. Number two, you develop an unstoppable mindset. Number three, you create a plan. Number four, you take action until you succeed. You cannot fail if you just never give up. Yeah, you'll have short-term failures. Absolutely. You'll have things that don't work out. You'll have setbacks. You'll have disappointments. You'll have all of that. Normalize it. Fall in love with it. That is the journey. Like I said way in the beginning, this is not all sunshine, rainbows and unicorns. And this is why you need to stack your environment for success. Have the right people around you. Have the right support. But this is the way you make success inevitable. 
you just keep going until you succeed. The world needs you to be wealthy. Why? Because I know that you have big dreams and an even bigger heart. I know that you want to make a positive difference in the world. And right now, we do not need more multi billionaires who want to make more and more money at the expense of the general population or the environment. We've got enough of those on the planet already. What we need is conscious entrepreneurs like you who are having an impact, who are building wealth, who are creating parallel systems in the world. And I don't mean that you have to create the parallel systems, but we need to participate together in new systems that serve the conscious human that serve humanity as a collective not just a few select people who think that they deserve to own everything and you deserve to own nothing and be happy about it like i don't know who decided that I should own nothing and be happy, but I'm not on board with that crap. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, that's that is not my that is not a future that I imagine for myself. It's certainly not a future that I lie awake uh, dreaming about at night time. I am not participating in that person's idea of my future. Uh uh, <laughs> I am divorcing myself from that notion of reality. I am creating my future. You have the ability to create whatever future you imagine. But you have to divorce yourself from this notion that you are at the mercy of anybody or anything ever. Because remember, you are infinitely powerful. So the world needs you to be wealthy for that reason. The more money you have, the more impact you get to make. So it is not just about you. I'm kind of laying a bit of responsibility on you right here, right now. But I want you to take yourself out of the money equation and recognize that the more money you make, the better the world it becomes. The world is a better place with you being a wealthy, successful entrepreneur. And here's where it comes back to remembering that you have to put your own mask on first. I've spent time with millionaires and billionaires and one of their key messages is if you want to give two, if you want to give a million dollars, you better be making $2 million. You have to put your own mask on first. You have to fill your cup up first. You cannot give from an empty cup. So put strategies and structures in place to make sure you're taken care of. Cause once you're taken care of, you can then focus on making a much bigger impact in the world. But if you're focusing on everybody else first, and the impact that you want to have over and above taking care of your own needs, you're going to burn out. It's an unsustainable equation. You are never going to be able to achieve the greatness that you are destined to achieve or the impact that you are able to make if you don't put your own mask on first and look after your needs. Okay, so. This is another exercise for you, the five steps to financial freedom. The thing that you need to realize is that systems and structure will set you free. It sounds the opposite. And there are many of us, including myself, who tend to be free spirits. <laughs> systems and structure just makes us kind of want to go away and crawl into a hole somewhere. At least it does for me. I don't, I'm not naturally drawn to systems and structure. I like to wake up in the morning and going, what am I going to do today? <laughs> but systems and structure are essential to set you free. So when you take a structured approach to your financial freedom, you already change the game. So let's look at this. The first step is financial confidence. 
This means that you have confidence that all your bills are paid, that all your financial obligations are met, and that you don't have to lie awake at night thinking about all those bills that aren't paid yet and worried about those debts that you need to pay off. Financial confidence is knowing that you have enough, you have money left over at the end of the month. So that's just the first step. The second step is financial security. So this is knowing that you have money in the bank or assets, liquid assets that you can access, that if something happened with your current situation, say you've got a job and you lost a job, no such thing as um, employment security anymore, unless you work for the government. It could be some financial security in some, finance, in some government positions, um, depending on who you know. But financial security, so um, knowing that if something happened and you lost your current form of income, that you have enough money behind you or liquid assets behind you that you could survive for six to 12 months. That gives you a sense of security. It really shocked me to find out that the vast majority of people in the United States, and I would say in Australia and other developed countries as well, the vast majority of people who have a six-figure income are actually living paycheck to paycheck. I'm like, how is that even possible, man? Because again, we are conditioned in the financial world, we are conditioned to spend to our limits and over and above our limits. We're conditioned to be in permanent debt. And there's good debt and bad debt. You can use debt to your advantage, but you must understand good debt and bad debt. So financial security, it's building your resources to have enough money in the bank to know that you're gonna be okay for six to 12 months if something happens and your current income disappears. Financial independence means you are not reliant on a third party for your income. You're not reliant on a job or one stream of income you have financial independence. So one stream of income dries up, you have another stream of income that you know is going to meet all your needs within, and, and then you can build another stream of income or you can replace the stream of income that disappears because that happens all the time. The world changes all the time. Look at what happened three and a half years ago. There were some very successful business people who had no idea that we were gonna go into a global pandemic and the whole world was gonna shut down. And so tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of business owners who'd worked their freaking asses off to get to where they were, lost everything. Now that's something that is just, it's so wrong in my, in my mind. But if you have financial independence, then you are not solely reliant on that one form of income. Financial abundance, this is where we get to choices. Financial abundance is when you have better quality choices. It means you can, um, you have enough money, not just to meet your needs, but to meet your wants and desires. You can choose to do what you wanna do, where you wanna do it, when you wanna do it, with whom you wanna do it. There's no real, well, there might still be constraints on what you can do. Maybe you can't buy a private jet just yet, but financial abundance means that you have much better quality choices. You feel secure in your financial future. Life's just a lot more fun. <laughs> in financial abundance, life is a lot more fun. And then, of course, you have financial freedom. Now, financial freedom goes beyond that. True financial freedom is like there are very few constraints on, on what you can do. And financial freedom actually isn't just about you having trillions of dollars. Financial freedom is about your resourcefulness. Financial freedom is about your access. So it's not just about your net worth, it's about your network. You may have, say you've got a million dollars in the bank, but you have access to unlimited funds. 
through your network, through your contacts. So financial freedom is removing constraints. I'm not saying that you will have no constraints whatsoever, but it's in a whole different category. Now, what I want you to do is, this is the exercise, I want you to write a number beside each. What amount of money do you think will you need to achieve each step? Financial confidence, financial security, financial independence, financial abundance, financial freedom. Don't spend too much time on this, just write a number beside it. If you're already at financial security, or financial independence, what's it going to take to get to the next level? So now what I want you to do is double it. For each number that you have put beside each of those steps, I want you to double it because I can just about guarantee that you have grossly underestimated what you're going to need to get to each level. Now, what strategies will you use to achieve each step? What's your strategy? What's your plan? How are you going to get to the next phase, to the next step? What action steps will you put in place? That's the $50 million question, isn't it? So building true wealth is not a spectator sport. You have to get on the playing field. You have to be willing to go all in and give it everything you've got and be an active participator. Yes, I love the law of attraction. Yes, it is working 24-7. But I'm not willing to risk my financial future by expecting that if I sit on the couch and watch Netflix or watch Netflix all day, that the money is just going to magically manifest itself. I want to be an active participant in the result. It doesn't mean I believe in hustle and struggle and all the rest of it. But I want to be a part of the action. That's where the excitement is. That's where the fun is. 90% of success is mindset. And they actually think it's a bit more than that. But when you build an unstoppable mindset, your success really is inevitable. The only, uh, the only unknown equation is the journey that you will take from where you are to where you wanna be because it's already done. It's just then filling in the middle bit to where it's done. But 90% of your success is mindset. So this is where it is your attention to your mindset, to being unstoppable, is the key. So the question is, who are you and who do you need to become? What is the 2.0 version of you who is super successful, who is super wealthy? Who are you now? You amazing, beautiful, infinitely powerful human being. Who are you showing up as and who do you need to become? So let's look at just a very small representation of the traits of wealthy and successful people because this is what you need to embody. This is part of who you need to become. Now, not every wealthy and successful person has all of these traits. And I actually have a much bigger document that, uh, I don't know, has 60 or 70 different traits and characteristics that I identified for wealthy and successful people. Doesn't mean that every single wealthy and successful person has all of these traits. 
but if you have a look at this list that I've compiled just for today, committed, focused, relentless, decisive, confident, ambitious, resilient, resourceful, positive, powerful, determined, innovative, leaders, tenacious, consistent, bold, structured. They have a strong level of self-belief. They're organized, they're deliberate, they're fierce, they're obsessed, they're inspired, they have a level of conviction. And you know, these, you will find a lot of these traits and characteristics in a wealthy and successful person. And you have every single one of these within you somewhere. You may not have had to develop it yet. It may not be a dominant trait and characteristic yet, but you have all of these within you. Any single trait and characteristic that you can recognize in somebody else, you already have in yourself. What's important is that you then deliberately develop the traits and characteristics of the person you need to become to achieve your great vision, your great goal. Now, some of those traits and characteristics that some wealthy and successful people have might be negative. But it doesn't mean you have to have those negative traits and characteristics. And if you have judgment about wealthy and successful people, if you, when you think of a rich person and you have judgments about a rich person and, and you recognize negative traits and characteristics, that you don't want, then they could actually be a, a, an indication of the limiting beliefs that you have in your consciousness. And that's about healing your relationship with money. If you have judgments, negative judgments about wealthy people and rich people, then they could seriously be limiting your generating and becoming a wealthy and rich person. Because we don't want to become the person who we vilify and have negative judgments and criticisms about. We don't want to become that. So if we have a negative association between rich people and who they are in the world, how they show up, how they behave, then we will put blocks in our way to becoming that perception. Because everything's a perception, everything's a story. I hope that makes sense. So. All right, now the five keys to $100,000 in 100 days. I'm not going to labor on this, but your mission. What's your mission, your vision, your purpose? We've already spent some time on this. What is your mission, your vision, your purpose? What are you here to achieve? What is your message? So this comes down to who you are going to influence, who you are going to impact. And what message is behind your product or service? The thing with this is that um, too many people that I speak to, when I say to them, well, who, who are you um, here to help? Oh, well, I can help everybody. Now, if you're trying to help everybody, you help nobody. When you really are able to articulate your core message to your core to your perfect audience your perfect avatar then you have their attention and attention is the most important commodity in business if you do not have people's attention you got nothing you will not make any money if you have no attention on the product or service that you are offering so you've got to get people's attention. And for that, you've got to be able to articulate your message for your specific market, for your perfect avatar, for the person who has the problem that you are equipped to solve. You need to have the right model. So there's multiple business models out there, wealth creation models. So your model could be a regular, um, uh, a regular retail business where you have a shop front, a storefront. It could be a cafe. It could be um, carpentry, building stuff. It could be a builder. It could be in construction. 
There's a gazillion different models out there. It could be manufacturing. It could be a service that you provide, a massage therapist or an accountant or um, a health professional or a consultant. Multiple different models. What is the best model for you? What is the best model to serve as many people as possible and to make as much money as possible? That's key. Got to have the right model. And of course, underpinning all of that is the right mindset. You've got to have an unstoppable mindset. So they're the five keys to $100,000 in 100 days. And whilst it may seem like a big task, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Don't get overwhelmed. Start where you're at, use what you have, do what you can. But start developing this. So money loves speed. And when I talk about this, I mean the speed of implementation. You can either go the slow, torturous road to building wealth, or you can get it right or as right as you possibly can where you're at right now with what you know. Remember, we don't know what we don't know. So you take what you have right now, you take your knowledge, your where, the level that you're at right now, and you just implement and execute as fast as possible. Doesn't mean it's all gonna work out, but unless you are willing to implement fast, it's highly likely that you're just going to torture yourself into a place where you eventually give up. So money loves speed. Now, here's the game changer. I said to you in the beginning, I was gonna share with you um, the way to impact millions and build wealth as fast as possible. This is not a big secret. You already know this. I am preaching to the converted. If you live in a modern world, you know that an online business, whether it's your primary way of building your business and your income or whether it's a side hustle, an online business is almost essential for anyone in today's world. You must have an online component. Now, the advantages of having a, all your, a business that is online. Low startup costs compared to something like building a retail store or, or setting up a brick and mortar business or a construction business or something like that. Work from anywhere, anytime. Time and money freedom or time, um, time and location freedom, sorry. Global audience. You have access to almost 8 billion people. No, sorry. There's almost 8 billion people on the planet and I think almost 6 billion people of, of 6 billion people have access to the online space. A global audience. There are an abundance of business models. Like it's just so many business models. No matter who you are, no matter what your expertise, no matter what your product, you can have an online business. Fast and effective delivery. Um, with um, if you have a physical product, then with global supply chains and global delivery methods available, you can have something even if it's in another country within weeks, which is pretty damn fast, if you think about it. If you have um, something like a digital product, then you need to deliver it instantly. Massive leverage. Now, I'm not gonna go into leverage because that is a whole other topic all on its own, but leverage is the ability to use infrastructure um, or tools or something that um, helps you to extract yourself from the equation ultimately. And in the online space, it's, for instance, it's building um, a sales, uh, uh, a lead generation page and a customer relationship management system, which is like automatic emails that goes out to your entire database. You can sell one to email, send an email to one person just as easily as you can send an email to a million people. That's leverage. You do one thing once and it has um, it impacts, has a much bigger impact. So it augments your efforts and you get your time back. You can make money 24 seven on the internet. You set it up, you've got a shop that's open 24 seven, people can buy whatever they want, whenever they want. You don't even have to be present for the sale. 
the exchange. Zero limits on your income and your impact. As long as you set it up right, you can scale it indefinitely with zero limits on your income and your impact. Think about that. And you can have multiple streams of income in the online space. So once you do it once, guess what? You can repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Or you can be an Elon Musk and you can go on a completely different path and you can set up a completely different business if you want to do that. Gary Vaynerchuk, the struggle porn king, loves to start new businesses, new ventures. So you can have one stream of income, you can have a hundred streams of income, you can have a thousand streams of income in the online space. Once you know how to do it once, you can do it over and over and over and over and over again. Or you use leverage and you've got an income, you pay other people to do it for you over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> so online business vehicles, e-commerce, huge, people buying shit online affiliate marketing so you sell other people's products and you get a commission and they do all the fulfillment they create the product they do everything you just find the person who wants the stuff and then they actually sell the stuff and you make money on the back end online education massive people are turning away from traditional education because guess what it's actually not all that effective these days traditional education so more and more people are turning into online education and you can whatever knowledge you have there is a way to package it up and sell it online and people will buy it coaching and consulting huge industry growing exponentially because people are recognizing that they need support to be able to achieve their goals and dreams there is no i in team and anybody who has ever achieved anything great has support to be able to achieve it nobody does it alone let me tell you investing and trading so um if you're going to go into that space of wealth creation then you need really need to know what you're doing um make sure you get the right education maybe online education to know the investing and trading space because it is a very specific skill and a very specific um expertise professional services um you know accountants we even have telemedical services now so whatever professional service there is a high likelihood you'll be able to deliver it online um, just about any service unless it requires a physical presence you can deliver just about any service online and then multi-level marketing and network marketing this um, is whilst it is um, it, it has a built a bad reputation multi-level marketing and network marketing because of bad players and bad operators and bad practices it's actually an incredible business model for helping people to build wealth and build wealth fast and there are many advantages to multi-level marketing and network marketing so if you have a negative view of it I recommend that maybe you look at some of those beliefs around it and explore it if you are looking for new opportunities because there's some amazing opportunities in this space right now that are developing and emerging. There's some emerging stuff coming out that I'm aware of that is just mind blowing. So how to heal your relationship with money. We are in the home stretch. But this is probably one of the most important things you will take away from today. Firstly, you need to identify your conflicts around money. What does money mean to you? What emotions does the subject of money elicit in your life, in your experience? Um, what do you believe about rich and wealthy people? What general beliefs do you have around money and around wealthy people? What general beliefs do you believe about yourself and money? It's identifying these conflicts because once you identify the conflicts, that's when you can actually release those limiting beliefs. And money is an incredibly complex subject. And we have very complex relationships with money. Each and every one of us has a complex relationship with the concept of money. Because remember, it's really just a concept. But it's such a loaded, emotionally loaded subject. So it's identifying the conflicts. And then, of course, releasing 
the fears, the limiting beliefs and the lack of self-worth and the conflicts around money. So you can develop a wealth and abundance mindset. And that, of course, is where I love emotional freedom technique. I use other techniques, of course, with my clients, but one of my go-tos is EFT tapping or emotional freedom technique because it's fast, it's very effective, and you can use it yourself. But the key is actually finding the root cause within the subconscious. And then once you've actually started to release the limiting beliefs, you can create new empowering beliefs. That's why when I do tapping, this technique, if you're not familiar with what I do, then, oh, I don't even know if you can see me because I'm sharing my thing. I'll show you in a minute. But um, the tapping technique, once you release the negative limiting beliefs, you can actually tap in whatever the opposite is. So you can look at what it was the, the conflict. This is what I believed that was a limiting belief. What is the opposite? What is a supporting positive belief about money or myself or wealthy people? And then you tap that in. So you tap in the opposite positive empowering belief. You align wealth with your core values. This is, again is another big topic, but um, you will always act in a way that is consistent with what is most important to you, with your core values. And Dr. John D. Martini used to say that if money is not one of your top core values, then you are really going to struggle to be wealthy. However, I don't believe that you have to sacrifice your top core values, what is most important to you. What you need to do is align money and wealth, the achievement of wealth, with your top core values. So say, for instance, one of your top core values is family. So you then align the accumulation of wealth and money with your top core value of family. It means you enable your family unit to be more secure, to be able to have better choices. If you have children, your children can go to better schools. They can have better health care. You can go on better holidays. So you align the accumulation of wealth with whatever is most important to you, whatever your core values are. I did it again. I just got everything off my screen. There we go. And then you've got to lock onto wealth and you've got to be completely congruent within your being. Congruence is important about the achievement and the building of wealth. You've got to lock onto it. It's almost like an obsession, but it's a healthy obsession. It's got to be something that you think about a lot, how you can expand it, how you can create more of it. Where are the opportunities coming from? What actions are you going to take? It's one of your top most thoughts. So today, I, geez, I'm almost on time. Look at that. Um, the answer to your, all your money problems, your wealth and abundance consciousness, that's it. Five keys to making an extra $100,000 in 100 days. Mission, message, market, model, mindset. Discovering your soul mission, the questions you need to ask yourself to really uncover your soul mission. How to impact millions and build wealth fast, just build an online business. It's really not, it's not rocket science. How to heal your relationship with money, identify the conflicts. Now, I still haven't shared with you the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universe, which I'm about to do in a minute. So you are just one decision away from achieving the wealth and the freedom and success that you desire and deserve. Just one decision. Just one decision can take you on a completely different path and a completely new trajectory. It is the decisions that we make on a daily basis that determine ultimately the results that we get. And I don't mean that it's the big decisions. It's actually the small incremental decisions that we make that accumulate. So you are just, whatever you do next, will either get you closer to your goal and dream or further away. So what is that next one decision that you need to make? Which direction do you take? What is your next step? Well, firstly, you have to decide. That is your next step, is to decide. 
to decide that you're worth it, to decide that you are going to make your goals and dreams non-negotiable, to decide what those goals and dreams are, to decide what vehicle you're going to take to achieve it, to decide that you're going to build an unstoppable mindset, to decide that you're going to put one foot in front of the other and you are going to take steps every single day. So these are the decisions that support your success. To decide you're going to become the person you need to be, decide that you're going to do the personal development work, decide that you're, that you're worth it. I think I've already said that. But decide that you're worth it. You deserve it. You're good enough. Decide to build that belief and self-confidence. But you must decide. Without a decision, nothing happens. The decision is the first part of the step, the, the process. Now then you decide, well, what, what kind of vehicle are you going to build? Are you going to, be, going to be a vehicle, build a vehicle that looks like the top, um, the top vehicle here in the, in the picture? Or are you going to use a vehicle that looks more like the bottom picture? Now, either one is a valid choice. Although the bottom picture, it looks like it may not even go the distance. <laughs> you may need an upgrade along the way. Or you can choose to go with the fastest, best solution right from the get-go. You can choose to set yourself up for success right out the gate. Everything comes back to what choices you make from this point forward, what decisions you make. So I'm going to do a very quick exercise for you. You can put down your pen and paper. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to see yourself at a fork in the road. You have a choice to take about which path, left or right. The path on the right is the path of wealth. The path on the left is the path of spirituality. So you choose to take the path of spirituality. You choose to go left because you know that that spiritual part of you is strong. That conscious part of you, that yearning to be connected to source. So you take the spiritual path on the left. You feel fulfilled. As you walk down this path, you feel fulfilled. You have amazing experiences. You feel connected to source. You feel this deep sense of connection and soul satisfaction. But not very far down the path, you notice a problem. The money's not there. You're struggling struggling to pay the bills, you're struggling to get ahead, finances are a constant source of concern and stress and worry. You realise this is not sustainable as much as you feel fulfilled spiritually. Financially, it's just too stressful. So you come back to the fork in the, fork in the road. And now you take the path on the right, the path of wealth. And as you walk down the path of wealth, man, it is so much fun. You're having an amazing time. You're building wealth. You're meeting new people. You're having great experiences. You have better choices. You no longer have that financial stress. Your bills are paid. Everything's sweet. But a certain way down that path, you notice that you feel empty inside. You're missing that soul connection. The money's amazing and it's a lot of fun. But without that spiritual component in your life, without that passion, without that sense of fulfillment and contribution, it's really missing something that's significant. So you come back to the fork in the road. Now, as you stand at that fork in the road, you actually see in front of you that there is another path that you did not see before because it's kind of overgrown. 
and it's not very distinct. And you start to walk down that path. And as you walk down that path, it starts to open up for you. And this is the path of spirituality and wealth. This is the path that you get to fulfill your soul mission. You get to be the person you came here to be. You get to make a contribution in the world. You get to make a difference while feeding your soul and simultaneously building wealth at the same time. You never realize that this path was open to you. Now you get to enjoy the best of all worlds. You get to enjoy the wealth, the financial freedom, to make the choices, to have the beautiful life, to live your best life while feeling fulfilled, while being on your soul mission, while being uplifted. This is your path. So as you embrace your new path, I want you to take a deep breath. Bring that back with you, knowing that you are now stepping forward onto this path where you get to have it all. And every decision you make from this point forward affirms your new path. So this is where you get to make a decision. If you would like to work with me, if you're in a position and you are ready to invest in creating this future for yourself and you would like me to help you or you'd like to explore the possibility of me helping you i just so you know i do not do hardcore sales calls on a strategy session i'm going to help you in three ways i'm going to work with you to solve the biggest challenge you're facing in your business right now and if you have a business idea that's okay we can explore that as well if you haven't started your business I'm going to help you to achieve more clarity on the future and profitability of your business. And I'm going to help you to create a customized strategic action plan to create wealth while fulfilling your purpose and building a legacy, making a difference in the world. So I will help you with each of those things. And if it makes sense, then I will also talk to you about the different ways that I could support you and help you to get from where you are to where you want to be as fast as possible. Remember, I asked you that question, what if you could make an extra $100,000 in the next 100 days in your business working smarter, not harder? I can help you to achieve that. With my knowledge, my expertise, and the work that I do on mindset, I can actually help you to become the person you need to be to be able to achieve that goal. So you can be this person, or you can be this person. It's your choice. Now, I'm not saying that you can't do it on your own. Remember I said money loves speed. And wealthy people, successful people, they get the right people into their environment. And if it's not me, that's okay. But find somebody who can really help you to get on the path and support you to achieve your goals as fast as possible. Because you do not want to take the slow road. It is torture. So you can book there. There's a few spots available. Now, if you've got any questions, please pop them in the chat if you're on the on live and I'll get to them at the end. But now we come to the end of the presentation and I'm going to share with you the secrets of the universe. So in this new earth paradigm that we are creating, it is flow, not hustle. We have had a hustle mindset, a hustle success mentality over the years. And it's a very left brain, male oriented way of achieving success. It is hustle, grind, work your ass off, work as hard as possible to achieve your vision and your goal. And you simply, you overcome those limitations through just working as hard as possible. You, you bust through your limitations by working harder than anybody else. I actually believe, whilst I believe hard work is necessary, there's work involved, 
I also believe about being in a state of flow, about being in a state of alignment and congruence. So you are working and partnering with the universe, not just driving a great big tank and trying to smash through those limiting beliefs. There's a balance. You don't have to paddle upstream. Just turn your boat around, mate. Just turn it around. Paddle downstream. Get in a state of flow. Get in a state of alignment. This is aligning your frequency and vibration. And Nikola Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So you've got to get in alignment with your vision, your purpose, your mission. Aligning your frequency and vibration. And Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress and giving birth to evolution. So this is why visualization, mind movies, writing out your goals, getting absolutely clear and focusing on those goals each and every day and having the daily habits and the daily practices and the daily rituals that engage your imagination to visualize what your future looks like. It's super important because once your subconscious mind has a vision of what you want and you are painting it a clear picture every day, it will help to orchestrate the path for you. It will show you the way. It will bring you the right people. It will put the right information in front of you. It will give you the right inspiration. It will present to you opportunities and possibilities that you couldn't see before when you're actually focused on what it is that you want and you're using your imagination and your subconscious mind to create it and you're getting in the right frequency and vibration. So you need clarity, clarity on what it is that you want, clarity on who you need to become, clarity on the path and the plan that you're going to put in place to get there. You need to focus on it relentlessly. Forget about your problems, pay attention on your dreams. The one skill that you must develop is the ability to hyper focus on what it is that you want because that is going to get you massive focus and that obviously comes to, down to mindset. Choose to become that person you need to be every single day, every day. Make the choices and the decisions and take the actions to become the person that you need to be and get into that state of beingness. The beingness is the frequency and the vibration. It's being in flow. We are human beings, we are not human doings. Who you choose to be every day supports the progress that you make, the actions that you take, and the results that you achieve. Now, the last one is something I made up. It's my acronym, T-R-A-L-L, -L, TRAL, TRUST, RELAX, ALLOW, LEAN IN, and let go. That's being in a state of flow. You trust, you trust that you are becoming the person you need to be. You trust that everything is happening in perfect timing. You trust that it will all unfold as it needs to. You trust in the universe and the support that it's providing. You relax. You stop resisting the journey. You stop resisting where you are right now. Where you are is where you are. You allow, you allow it to unfold. You allow yourself to take the journey. You allow it all. You lean in. You lean in to what is present for you each, each and every moment. Too many people see problems and then they set up resistance to those problems. You need to lean in to your problems. You need to lean in to your challenges because that's the only way you're going to solve them and overcome them. And then you let go. You let go of your emotional attachment to the outcome, the immediate outcome. You focus and you're emotionally attached to that ultimate outcome, but you let go of your emotional attachment because that's what creates the disappointment, the frustration, all those negative emotions, the fears and doubts. You just let go. Let go of your emotional attachment to what is and what is happening and unfolding. So they are the secrets of the universe. So I'm going to stop sharing 
and um, I'm going to thank you very much for being here. Um, I don't see any questions at this point. Um, but um, thank you for being with me. If you have a question, please ask it. I'm going to type into the chat uh, the link if you would like to book a strategy call with me. So you can just click it. So that is there in the chat. If you would like to book a 30 minute strategy call with me to explore how I can help you moving forward. Um, but what I, what I encourage you to do is to just take something from today's presentation, from training today and implement it right now. Implement it as fast as possible. Now, this will be available for um, the next three days. So you can watch it again, because as I said, there's a lot to digest. I know that my trainings are not for the faint hearted. But just take action. The next logical step. What is the next logical step for you? What is the next decision that you need to make? And back yourself all the way. And know that you are infinitely powerful and you are capable of achieving anything that you put your mind to. Thank you very much for your feedback. It means so much to me and your success means a lot to me too. So I, I wish you if, you, if you go about on your own or you find somebody else to support you in your journey, just make sure that you do everything in your power to make your dreams a reality because you deserve it and the world deserves to have you doing good things. So I will see you again in my community if I do not see you on a call. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.